Hello and welcome to KJ Designs, a channel with free graphics design tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design, how to create this beautiful pattern you're seeing in Affinity Designer. Make sure to watch this video up to the end so that you can learn something and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning on the notification bell. Without waste of time, let's jump into Affinity Designer. So here, the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to draw a square of length and width 100 pixels. The units I use are in pixels, so get the rectangle tool, draw, construct a square, make sure that the length and width is 100 pixels. Now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to create more 8 duplicates that are snapping into each other out of this rect out of this square that we have just created so let me zoom in a little bit select this square of ours pressing ctrl and shift on your keyboard drag to the right so that you can create a duplicate that really snaps into the other after doing that press ctrl or command j on your keyboard seven times so that you create nine squares after doing that i'm going to select all of them pressing shift and control my keyboard i'm going to drag and move down so that i create a duplicate out of these nine squares of ours and i make sh and make sure that you also do the same Create nine duplicates out of this. So press Ctrl or command control command G on your keyboard so that you create duplicates. So after doing that, let me align it to the center. Now the next thing we are going to do is to remove the unwanted squares. So select these last four this right down a corner delete them and select the four from this left upper corner delete them so select this this delete it select this delete it this delete it and this and the same here and the same here so select this tool by pressing shift this and this delete them this and this also delete select these two and as well as these two now we are going to remove this and this and then this and this so the next step we are going to combine these squares so that we come out with a beautiful pattern but make sure you do what I'm doing. Follow me. Follow the squares um, joining so that you don't come out with messy, messy, messy patterns. So select the square. This, 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 and this, and this. And then come on the Boolean operation of adding at them. Do the same here. Add. Um, do the same here down make sure that you leave out this square don't add it to here leave it out I mean this so do the same here from here select this 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 don't select this square make sure that you leave out this square yeah make sure that you don't add them so select like this now select this leave out this square don't add it we shall do the addition of that later select like this leave this one out so now select these three 
add them and then select these three and add them and then select this last three and also add name so so far we are we're we are finalizing so now select these squares that we left out this select them all can convert them to curves by right clicking and then click on convert to curves or you can simply press control and enter or return on your keyboard so that they become curves so using the node tool select one like this select its cup points move them a little bit away from the shape have your have your select tool grabbed take this and this and then add them get back your node tool by pressing a on your keyboard select this into and then join them back make sure that they snap onto this shape do the same here select these endpoints make some adjustments get the select tool by pressing v on your keyboard select it and this add them get back your node tool by pressing a on your keyboard and then put the curve points back make sure they're snapping uh, you also do the same here so after doing that yeah we're almost done with this beautiful pattern of ours so select all rotate to negative to an angle 45 like this you can leave it like this or if you want to add more more details in the pattern like creating shadows where the shapes cross each other simply get the pen tool holding shift on your keyboard put at one end point here and then another one here give it a stroke of 1.5 and then come to effects and add a gaussian blur of 3 pixels now we are going to first select these shapes of ours and make their stroke be 0.5 so we are going to create duplicates out of this out of this straight line that is forming shadows yeah so make sure that you're holding ctrl and shift and you so that you create a duplicate that's really aligned and accurate yeah that's it for today so guys thank you for watching this tutorial up to the end if at all you have learned something you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment to like and subscribe to the channel as well as turning on the notification bell stay blessed have a nice day